we now have three equations in kinematics. We have covered x equals x naught plus vt. And you're OK with that. That's really just how much does the position increase due to some velocity past some initial position. And v equals v naught plus at. That one's fine. How much faster are we going beyond some initial velocity due to acceleration? Not so bad. But then we said this, x equals x naught plus v naught t plus 1 half a t squared. And I just said that. I didn't even justify it or prove it. Right? So that's kind of the oddball here. And what I want to show you is you can actually get it by looking at graphs. Okay? So we're going to go from the graph to the equation for that one. All right? So to do it, we need to set it up in a real general way. Right? So we're going to get hell. And we're not going to start him at the origin. We're going to start it here at 50. And we're not going to start it at zero velocity by just releasing it. I'm going to roll him down really hard. So it's going to have an initial velocity, and it's going to accelerate like that. So think about that motion. And let's plot it. Okay? So we're going to plot um, the position versus time, the velocity versus time, and the acceleration versus time. And here's x, and here's v, and here's a. Okay. So let's see. We didn't start at the origin. We started at some x naught. And it's going to be one of those curves, like I drew before. But it's not going to start with zero slope. It's actually going to start with some finite slope because it started at some finite velocity. It's going to go off like that somehow. The velocity also is not going to start at the origin. It's going to start with some initial value. And it's going to go up like a line because it accelerated like that. And the acceleration is constant. Right? Acceleration is almost always constant at some value greater than 0, like this. And we say this, trying to make that a little curvier there. Oh, I should have stuck with what I had. There, it has some slope. There we go. OK, so this is the time interval we're trying to figure out what happens. Right? This is the time interval t. How do we calculate, or where does this equation come from? Let's use our geometrical ideas. Right? We had this idea that this delta x is equal to the area of the curve underneath the v velocity versus time curve. Right? So this delta x equals this area. I don't know, what is that? A rhombus? I don't know. I don't teach math. Whatever that is. That's a four-sided thing. Right? Well, it looks like it'd be hard to get the area unless you divide it into two pieces. Right? It's really just a rectangle and a triangle. I know what those are. Right? We just need to add the area of those two to get uh, delta x. Let's see. So delta x equals area. So delta x equals what in this case? Well, the lower part, that area, is just this t. They're all the same t. We'll just call it t rather than delta t. And times v naught. Right? That's the rectangle. So v naught times t. And what's the triangle? Well, the triangle's area is, the area of a triangle is 1 half base times height, right? Plus 1 half, uh, what is the base? We'll call that the base. Um, that is t. And what about the height? Well, the height is delta v, right? Well, what is that delta v? Well. We can do our trick again. This delta v is the area under this curve. Right? Whenever you go down velocity or position, velocity, acceleration, the delta here is always the area here. So the delta here is the area here. All right. What's the area of that? It's a times t. So 1 half t times a t. And you say, OK. What is delta x again? Delta x is how far it got past x naught. So this is x minus x naught is v naught t plus 1 half 
and you pull out the A, and then there's two T, so it's T squared. Uh-oh. Let's see. If we bring this X naught over here, then we have X equals X naught plus V naught T plus one half A T squared. Look at that. There it is. That's that equation. That's where it comes from. So since this is not calculus-based physics, we can't do the calculus to derive it. But you can actually get it from the geometry. Don't tell them I told you that. Okay. 